righty, welcome to the MJ and Ty podcast show. Today is Thursday, February 11th, 2021. It has been a sad, sad week because the NFL season just wrapped up. And what was probably one of the most anticlimactic and Super Bowls you could have had in recent history, minus 2018. All right, so Ty... Yeah, you want to go first? What are your takeaways from from Sunday's game? All right, let me. All right. So what I took away was it was getting how can I put it a little bit chippy out there. A little. I'll bit agree. Chippy. I can agree to that. Yeah. A little bit chippy because we don't bit. know both teams started off with four with the ball and both defenses or right. Yep. We can all say that. We can you and me can say that. Like for like half the time, like nobody scored a touchdown. Yep. But you know, Grant had that one touchdown pass. Then yeah, he two. had another two? Yeah, he had two. So, so I can see probably like like the game like I wasn't affecting it to be a blowout, but I told you so and not sleep on Tom Brady. I just You're had right, and I wasn't. Out. You were. No, you I were was the not. Whole time. Pinocchio, go, your nose just grew ten feet. Go, go, go! Let's run the tape back from from. Four episodes ago, four episodes ago, and what did I say? Don't sleep on Tom Brady. Yeah, and last episode I woke up and I picked Brady. Well, I'm glad you did, Knucklehead. I'm glad you came to your senses. Um, But it, I wasn't affecting for it to be a well, while. Nobody thought... No. Like both defenses in that first quarter was ready. But I knew I knew that uh good team would get to the Chiefs. Um but what did you think about that charge? You know what? I gotta say something. I told, so, I told you so, I told you so, I told you so. Oh wait, there's one more. I told you so. Buccaneers were going to win by their defense, and they did. Also, Patrick Mahomes, you got to get that. You got to get that surgery and get get back to playing like Patrick <clears throat> Mahomes, my dude. Yeah, it looked like. Can I just say this? Then I'll let you talk. Sorry for cutting you off. Yeah. Um, it looked like he he was playing on a broken toe or yeah. something like that. Yeah, yeah, he, he he had an injured toe. So I don't know why he would play on that, but it is what it is. Well, would you rather have Patrick Mahomes, who's injured, be your quarterback in the Super Bowl, or Chad Henney? Uh, Patrick Mahomes. Yeah. That, that's their that's their thinking. Also, I mean, I knew that I knew that the Chiefs' offensive line was mediocre going into the game. Like, but I did not expect them. I did not expect Patrick Mahomes to be running for his life on every single play. Like. He- a, he was running like a madman, like like trying to get away from the defense. Would you say? Oh yeah, yeah. Like he he was running like a madman in, in the Browns game, and the the Browns defensive line is nothing special aside from Miles Garrett. Ugh. I will. Was- so I'm not too surprised that the Buccaneers came out on top, and I'm just more surprised at the way they did it. 
the I way they... Mahomes, you look like like Mahomes looked like crap in the Super Bowl. Like, he looked he looked kind of like I can't agree like with you? you on that. I can't agree with you on that. But he looked kind of like you. Hold. Oh, I'm gonna get you. He looked kind of like you. You running, running on, on the basketball court. Okay, both of us. What about that? Would that make you happy? Yeah, that's that's viable. Rather, that's plausible. That's plausible. But he was running like a madman. I can yep. just say that. Yep. What did, you think, what did you think about that um, um, foul call on the hunting badger? Oh, which one? Uh, the one where he was, he was talking trash to Tom Brady. Brown Brown. When he was talking trash to Tom Brady? Well, you don't really interact with Tom Brady in the NFL unless you're asking for a, unless you're asking for a penalty. I thought he got two. I wouldn't deny it. Would you rather would you rather have the honey badger on your team? Or Denzel Ward. Denzel Ward. I I can agree with that. Like Denzel Ward is much much younger than and and then the the honey badger. Thing is with Denzel Ward is you got to keep him healthy. Otherwise, he's going to be sitting on the sideline a lot. All righty, so the time has come for a debriefing and a recap of the way this season went. So, All right, let's get to it, knucklehead. All righty, so the Browns, obviously, I don't think anyone was expecting it. First year head coach Kevin Stefanski to do as well as he did. Stefanski for president 2024, not political advice. <laughs> you've been saying that you've been saying that to me. Um you've been saying that to me off camera, on camera. Yeah. Any way you can. I agree with you on that. I agree with you on that. Um my only thing is, wow! It took it took us um, how many coaches? Too many. We can't even count that high. Let's just say thirty, because I don't want to go up to how many coaches the Browns had um, since 1999. That is. Yeah, I don't want to go back that far. Well, that's when the new Browns came back, came into the league, but all right. But I would say I think the Browns got a good uh, head coach. Like I said, like I said, I can see you crossing your fingers. Yeah, did you hear me knocking on wood? No, I didn't hear you. Yep. I heard it. But I can see, I can see that the Browns, the Browns have a good head coach. I would say it took. Why would, why would we not hire? Why would the Browns not hire this coach, like last year? Because. Freddie Kitchens was already connected with Baker Mayfield and the two got along. And how did that turn out for us? Yeah, it turned out 
brutal, I could say. Yeah, it was not very good. And now, Freddie Kitchens is not doing very good for the Giants and in his somewhat limited role on the offense. It seems like, like it took us 17 years to find the right – for the Browns to find the right coach. Yep. And the right – the. I would say a decent quarterback. I don't want to, you know, give Baker a lot of credit just yet. Like, you're only three years in. Three years or four years in. Three. Uh, Like, we got a good running – we got two good running backs. Like, two good running backs. Got top three offensive line. Yeah, top three offensive line. Like, I think we're good, but I just don't, like, I just don't feel like right now, like, maybe down the road, I will say Baker's a good, like, a great quarterback, but I don't think he's there right now. I think he's a good quarterback, but not – I'm not going to put them in the range where I have like Tom Brady, Drew Brees just yet. Yeah. So, how much money do you think the Browns are going to offer Mayfield at the end of this, at the end of next season? I don't, basically, I don't know. We just have to see how how this all plans out. How this year exactly plans out for him. Yeah. Because now, now it's now you're on your last deal. He's probably going to get if he doesn't get a big payday. He will probably. He will probably, but he will get another big payday after, you know, his contract is over. Yeah, it's going to be Jimmy Haslam giving it to him. What What do you think? Do you How much do you think they're going to pay Baker? I think he's a $125 million guy for, across five years. I was going to say, I was going to say probably higher, probably like 30, 35. That's 35 million, million dollars for one year? Yeah. Uh, that's probably in the, in the range of, if you're going to pay someone that much, uh, uh, he's going to have to, He's gonna to have to be in, in the range, and or he's gonna have to be like a Peyton Manning or, or a Tom Brady, Tom Brady guy. Which, uh, which I do think that Baker or could hopefully, hopefully, possibly, we get to that point. But while I do think he's still the best quarterback for our or team. I do not, like you said, I do not think that he's quite, quite at the level full of Peyton Manning or Tom Brady or Drew Brees. We'll talk about this after he wins the Super Bowl, though. Yeah, we'll we'll revisit this. It's just that, that I wouldn't put on, like, Drew Brees like I said before, Drew Brees, Tom Brady, um, Drew Brees, Tom Brady, all of that, all of that um, conversation and stuff. Yeah. What else are we? So, one one player that I really, really, really hope comes back strong 
Oh, it would definitely have to be Joe Burrow. I can. But no, I'm not a Bengals fan, fan, but. But it is a shame that that his rookie season had to end with it, with him tearing his ACL leg. I like. Uh, no, I don't think that the kids are one of the best the best quarterbacks in the league right now, but. But he is most most certainly much much better than, or he most certainly deserves much better than ending his rookie season rookie season with the torn ACL. You know. So Ty, if you had to choose between um, Baker Mayfield and Joe Burrow on your team, which one you which one are you choosing? I would take Baker Mayfield. The reason why I would say that is because I can, you know, I could trust him more than Joe, more than, um, Burrow. Yeah. Um, what you got against rookies, Ty? I don't got anything against rookies, okay? I don't got anything against rookies. Now go ahead over yeah, sure there. All right. Now, personally, I'd have to agree with you. The you know, I had, I would choose Baker over a Burrow at, at this point in time as well. Because he's only a rookie. Like, like we gotta give him probably like three or four. For probably like in his third year, we will revisit this conversation and probably, you know, compare these two quarterbacks. You know, probably. yeah. Compare, probably we'll come back to this con- conception and like say, oh, we now we can put Boreal in that conversation with Baker, but. I would take Baker right now. Like, I don't have, you know, I know that um, Burrow is a rookie, but when you're a rookie in a league, it's not easy. No. No, it is not. But you know what quarterback is probably going to be gone in in three years? Ooh. Ben Roethlisberger. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say Tom Brady right there. Brady will probably play until he's 50. I said 55 last week. <laughs> I'm counting on it. 55. He will retire. And we're going to revisit this. I'm not denying that you said it. I was right about him retiring at 55. Who was arguing with you about that? Uh, You were. You were. You were. No, 55 is old even for Tom Brady, but then again, Tom Brady defies all logic. Uh. Yeah. Which which quarterback which quarterback do you think will have their downfall this season? Um, probably Roethlisberger, but he's already on that trend. Um, Could be Cam Newton as well if, if he finds a team. Yeah, I don't think he's yeah. returning to the Patriots. Yeah, I can say I can see those two. Like I definitely agree with you on that. But yeah. the only thing is, 
if Cam Newton can find a football team, can find a football team that wants him to be there, you know, yeah, that wants to keep him and say, this is your team now. You don't have to compete. You're going to be the starting quarterback. You know? Yeah, but what team is that desperate? What team is desperate for a quarterback? Uh, the Bengals, the Jets. The Bengals have Burrow. He's going to return. The Giants. Um, Giants are sticking with the Daniel Jones. The um, Jaguars. Okay, I can see that one. But they're probably going to get Trevor Lawrence. I can see the Steelers getting Trevor Lawrence. How? They don't have the number one overall pick, and they don't need a quarterback. They can trade all the way up if they want. Do you really think the Jacksonville Jaguars are going to be do are going to do something that dumb? Hey, hey, anything interesting can happen. True. I I did not expect an Adam Gase to be dumb enough to loot, dumb enough to get a couple wins and lose the number one overall pick when they need a quarterback. But all right. Probably a good thing they fired him. Um, what what do you who, which receiver will have their downfall and will go up? Um that's a bit hard to judge. It's a lot harder to judge than a quarterback. Because Antonio Brown re- rebounded at least somewhat, went from where the spa- from where he was. I can what? say, I can say this. Sorry to cut you off, but I, I but, have nothing else to say. You're not cutting me off. Sorry, I just cut you off. It's good. It's good. It's good. Um, but like. Antonio Brown, like, I can see him probably having a downfall because age might catch up to him. Age yeah. might catch up to him. Good. And yeah. we don't know if he's going to re-sign with Tampa Bay or go somewhere else. Not Pittsburgh. Not Pittsburgh. Not New England. Um, Not Cleveland. We don't need him. We we definitely don't need him. Sorry, AB. I'm not. Um, but but I would say we're most def we're definitely um. We can say this. We can say this. That we're most definitely. That AB is most definitely a Hall of Famer, but where is he going to go next? Like know. you're not you're not going to find another quarterback like Tom Brady or Drew Brees. No. Nor will you find one quite like your favorite Carson Wentz. He's not my you just like to me you just like you just like to get me fired up do you you? maybe you like you like to get me fired up do you just a minute just a minute right now that you like to you like when I get fired up like that Maybe. Maybe. Okay, yes. Okay, so you admit it. You like when I'm fired up like that. But you're not going to find another quarterback like those two. True. True, you're not. Unless your favorite 
Um, Jared Goff comes. Comes. Oh, well, let's see what he does in Detroit, but I I have not nowhere near the number one spot in my my rankings. I have probably Tim Bay number one in my rankings right now. Yeah. Oh, and for the record, Ty, Jared Goff is better than Carson Wentz. I know. Can we talk about the trade rumors of um? Because there's sure a lot. That's about... true. Talking about Deshaun? No, Carson Wentz. Oh, Carson Wentz. Um... He's in trade. Yeah. Yeah, we can. What What teams do you see him going to? Could go to the Jets. Um... Um, he could come to the MJ and Ty team. And oh yeah, like once we start, that. once we start being able to monetize this, we can we can employ him. <laughs> you can tell him about how he, and you can tell him how your how he's your favorite. He's not my favorite. <laughs> Dang it, man. Like, like, all right, I'm, all right, I'll stop. I'll stop. All right. You just like when I'm fired up like that. Yeah. What's all right, the- so that's going to conclude uh, today, this week's episode of the MJ and Ty podcast show. We will see you all here next week and weekend. And. And remember to keep your head in the game.